my name's Robin. I live on my own in a two bedroom flat and I'm 21 years old and I work in a vegetarian, vegan Chinese restaurant. When I was younger, my parents died of cancer, so then I was put in care when I was 10. It felt terrible because I didn't really have many people to talk to, not many friends to hang out with, so, so I moved to different places. And then when I was 18, I went up to Manchester, to the Langdon community up there. Langdon is very important to me because um, if I look at my life now, now that I'm 21, and I see the journey it has come on, I wouldn't have known where I'd be. I'd probably be in a worse setting of a home than I am now, less confident than I am. So Langdon has really helped with my confidence. And for the past, two, past year, I wanted to live on my own so then I can prove to myself that I can try and do things on my own. Um, they support me with my budgeting, support me to cook dinner, sort out my bills, general stuff. To me, Langdon is important because without it, many of us wouldn't know what to do. We wouldn't know where we'd be living. Langdon to me, are, even though they're my friends, they're like my brothers and sisters, like a family I never had. Yeah, I work in Asda. I do the baskets. It, it's good. London for me the job. London is fantastic. I like the people here. I, I work, do the share. I, I like it, yes. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. My name is Elliot, um, Elliot Cohen, and um, I work as a kitchen assistant at um, Prince Alexandra which is a Jewish nursing home. I live um, in Edgware, uh, Green Lane, with uh, three other people. I've been with Landon now 11 years. I was with, uh, there's, um, there's a college up in Manchester and I was at the college for four years. Then I did um, two other years in the community in Manchester. And then um, I came down here in uh, se uh, September 2005. Landon's basically for people with learning difficulties and um, well I, ha um, I find it hard to read and write and I'm, and I'm a slow learner and um, I feel it's helped me uh, progress over the years of like um, learning um, learning more stuff and well especially like living more independently. I've made a lot of friends with Landon and um, there are carers there to support um, me and my other three uh, housemates, um, knowing at the end of the day that I have a, um, a home that I could um, go back and and um, which is uh, supported and it feels uh, good. Land's my life, and um, without land, and then I don't know where I'd be. Hi, I'm Danielle, um, I'm 27 and this is my home. I work at Costa uh, three days a week and 
the weekends, us, we just go out for dinners, all of us, all the rest of the other students. Just, um, we just made friends through Langdon. Boyfriend. He lives in the boys' house, um, I think down, down the road. I think we've been together nearly six months. Langdon's like my home. <laughs> They're very good. Like helping us um, cook and all that. And just look after us. My name is Daniel Welk. Um, I live in Edgware. This is uh, and this is my flat. This is Limeleaf Court. I used to have uh, probably almost full-time staff, and, and now it's, it's it's cut back a, a long way. And I, you know, I think I've changed over over that over that period. I've got no short-term memory. For people that have never met me before, I, I suppose it's quite a, um, a, should I say a hidden difficulty uh, in respect that obviously if I didn't tell you. Uh, th then you wouldn't know. Because of my memory, it, it, it doesn't allow me to just go out there and, and uh, just find somewhere, let's, let's just say. Um, I, I need to n know where I'm going uh, within the area. L Langdon supports you um, f from, from certain hours during the day, and, and it's all different for, ev for everybody. They support me to uh, cook an evening meal, uh, to do a bit of washing, to do a bit of ironing, um, if I need to, to, to go out into Edgware, uh, they'll support me to write a list and go shopping and, all, and bring the goods back. So it, it, it's just a normal day-to-day -day, uh, daily living, but, but, but with the support. Living without a memory it, it, it is, <laughs> dare I say, it's very daunting. It's, it's very difficult for me, uh, but, um, but I cope. Coming back to my home at the end of the day is incredible. It's um, knowing that that it's your own home is uh, you know it, it just gives you that sort of boost of independence really. It's it's, it's, ju it's just amazing. It's um, you know uh, no I, I like it. I love it. It's uh, it's great fun. I run a, a perfectly normal life. Uh, I go to work. I uh, on the bus. I come home on the bus. Um, uh, I, I cook an evening meal, the, the, the staff are here. Langdon is like our second family. It's, uh, uh, and without them, uh, I don't know what I'd do without them. It's, uh, they're just there for when you need them. It's, um, you know, it's, it's just amazing, it really is. Supporting Langdon is important because it's not just about my life and my future, but it's about everyone's future in the Jewish community with disabilities, to give them a home and a future too. They've done so much for us. I love it. Langdon is fantastic. It gives us a future, it gives us a home, it gives us a life, it gives us happiness. Land is my life. Yeah, land is everything to me. If Langdon wasn't there, uh, I, I just don't know what I'd do. It's um, I, I, I think without Langdon, I think we'd all be stuck. It's uh, it's um, it's just amazing. It is pure magic. It really is. Mm -hmm.